Hello! Today we will create a square detail on a cylinder. Take note, this is not a perfect square, as this is not a precision modeling tutorial. We will also use string wrap modifier to prevent pinching. And finally, we will check our mesh by deforming it. This is an easy tutorial, so let's get started. Press A to select all, delete. On number pad, press 1 and 5 to go to front orthographic view. Shift A, Mesh, Cylinder. Expand this tab, Vertices, Key in 24. Fill type, Nothing. Tap into edit mode, press Ctrl R. Place cursor here, press 7, left click and right click. We want the faces to be as square as possible. Now we will create a target object for the shrink wrap modifier. Tap out to object mode, press shift D, then right click. This creates a copy of the cylinder at the same location as the original. At outliner, we can see cylinder and cylinder 001. This is the copy of the original cylinder. Double click on it, rename it to cylinder base. With cylinder base selected, right click, shade smooth. Click on the modifier icon, add modifier, Subdivision Surface Viewport, change its value to 4 Add Outliner Click on the eye icon to hide Cylinder Base Then click on Cylinder to select it Tap into Edit Mode At top left Click on Face Select icon Click here to deselect all. Select these faces. Press I for inset. Drag to here. Left click. Press I again. Drag to here. Left click. Now rotate viewport a bit. Press E to extrude. Drag up a bit, left click. This creates a support loop at the bottom. Press E, drag to here, left click. Now press S, press Y, press 0. Press Enter. This flatten the faces along the Y axis. Press E, drag up a bit. Left click. This creates a support loop at the top. Click here to deselect all. Select these four faces. Right click. Subdivide. Press I. Drag to here. Left click. Press I again. Drag to here. Left click. Press E, move down a bit, left click. Press E, move down, left click. One last time, press E, move down a little, left click. This is how easy it is to create details on cylinder. However, notice we have some angons here. We can turn them into quads easily. At top right, click on the Option tab. Make sure Auto Merge is checked. This is important. Click on Vertex Select. Click here. 
hold control click here to select these vertices right click subdivide click here hold shift click here press J and do the same here select this vertex press G twice that's GG move it all the way here left click select this vertex press G twice move it all the way here and left click place the cursor here press Ctrl R left click and right click then select this vertex press G twice move it here left click do the same here I'll show the process one more time at this side select these vertices right click subdivide select this and this press J and do the same here select this press G twice drag all the way here left click and do the same here press Ctrl R left click and right click select this vertex press G twice move left click do the same here now go ahead and repeat the same steps at these two areas So our mesh should look something like this. Now tap out to object mode, right click, shade smooth, click on modifier icon, add modifier, subdivision surface, viewport, key in 2. The object already look quite good but you can see some deformation at the corners at the base here. If you don't mind them, you can stop here and delete the cylinder base object. But we can eliminate these deformations easily by using the string wrap modifier. First I'll delete the subdivision modifier. Now we will create a vertex group. Tap into edit mode. Click on vertex select icon. Now click on select. Choose none. Place the cursor here. Hold alt and left click to select this edge loop. Press H to hide it. Place the cursor here, press L. Make sure only the vertices on the cylinder are selected. No vertex on the square should be selected. At right side, click on object data icon. At vertex groups, Click on the plus button to add a group. Make sure weight is set to 1. Click assign. Then click the select. Place cursor in the viewport. Press Alt H to unhide the edge loop. Make sure only this loop is selected. Go back to Vertex Group, click on Weight, type 0 0.4, enter, then click Assign. 
This means that the shrink wrap modifier that we are going to add in later will have less influence on these vertices than the vertices we have added in earlier with the weight of 1. Now we will add modifier. Tap out to object mode. Right click, shade smooth. Click on modifier icon. Add modifier, subdivision surface. Viewport, key in 2. Click Add Modifier, Shrink Wrap. Click Target, choose Cylinder Base. Click on Vertex Group, choose Group. So this modifier will only affect the vertices that we have put into the Vertex Group just now. Let's change to a shiny matte cap. Turn the shrink wrap modifier on and off to see the difference. To me, the surface looks better with the modifier turned on. One thing to take note is, in the current state, we cannot move the cylinder. Let me show you. We must parent the cylinder base to the cylinder first before we can move it. At the outliner, click on cylinder base eye icon to unhide it. Then click on cylinder to select it. Now hold shift and click on cylinder base to add the selection. Place cursor in the viewport. Press Ctrl P. Choose Object. Back in Outliner. Click on this arrow to expand it. Click on Cylinder Base eye icon to hide it. Now we can select the cylinder. Press G and move it with no issues. Finally, we will check our mesh by deforming it. Click Add Modifier. Choose Simple Deform. Click Bend. Place the cursor here. Left click and drag to change the values. As you can see, the object still looks good even when we deform it. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you'd like to support the channel, just like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.